Hola. So, uh, this is going to be a uh, Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well a uh, Libra Rising. A weekly general tarot reading March 9th to uh, March 15th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a, a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. So moving into the uh, spread straight away, we do have the Eight of Pentacles, which represents the general topic and the theme of the week for you, Libra. Uh, following next by the Two of Cups, so which is the um, energies feeding and supporting the topic. Now we are having something interesting here. All right. So uh, next one is going to be the challenge uh, that you will have to overcome. And oh my, <laughs> we do have uh, the uh, Knight of Cups. Uh, then it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy and uh, or that you, yes, yeah, that you can enjoy here. We do have the Magician card. Uh, following the next one is going to be uh, the impression you leave into the people around. That is to be the Six of Wands. And the last one, it will be the guidance the Tarot is offering to you. That is to be the Devil. And look at that. It's magnificent, really. Oh, my So, where do I even begin with? Or what do I even begin with? Okay. So, Two of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Uh, that is a very uh, trustworthy, maybe should I say, a combination. What I mean here is that we do have the energy of a partnership in any version of it. It could be a romantic partnership. It could be a business partnership as well. In generally, a partnership in which there is no shame. There is no shyness. There is no pride as well. You know, it's just two people, regardless of their social status, they are taking each other in equal uh, in equal measures or in equal values that is and therefore those energies will allow you with that someone else to create something new okay this is this is seen here by the two people reaching to one another and something third is coming from their touch or from their interaction if you will so that would be and um, i don't want to say unconditional love but let's say a love that is not going to be restrained by any shyness any pride you know once again any kind of ego as well or a business partnership once again that even if you don't have the money to start your business someone is going to believe into your idea so much that you will be willing to kind of invest in it's just like a an equal partnership now under those energies it's very important especially if you are single to go out and start kind of presenting yourself in front of the world as a single because the situation itself with the eight of pentacles is also very favorable for such kind of a situations because the eight of pentacles especially if you are single it does represent the time where you just have to start allowing people around okay you just you just have to kind of like shake yourself off of previous failures if you will as for this time around you are pretty much aware of, of what you are to expect moving forward into the future with new suitor and if your expectations are not met well therefore you are to change suitors but my point is that the eight of pentacles points are here that you are a ready to start a new interaction in case you're single and with those energies there is no way that you ain't gonna have a chance to make a, a new interaction as well so if you are looking for love it is out there outside guys it is not within your home and you have to go out there and seize it okay because sitting in your couch at home is not gonna make your next suitor to come around knock on your door and say for example hey the universe guide, guided me here it just is not how it works works uh, additionally to that um, throughout a partnership uh, you are to be able to start performing or rather like a start manifesting um, either a plan or an endeavor that you uh, have set on how up until now either because you didn't have the means or either because you didn't have the uh, the opportunity 
to uh, to start manifesting it but now with that additional help or with that peace that you are to face around you will have what it is needed here to uh to manifest your i don't want to say goal but more like a idea so uh i don't know if i mentioned it but with those energies you can expect completely peaceful environment at work where everybody not just only minds their own business but it is willing to help for the common good of the business itself so if you are having a rough time with colleagues well that is to be set aside for the common goal at least for throughout this week march 9th to march 15th 2020 and it's just a fantastic results are to be accomplished uh, when everybody works once again for the common goal. So what will be the challenge here? Well, we do have the Knights of Cups and that challenge only refers to those that are emotionally connected with someone. So mainly refers to those which are in romantic relationships with a, a new person. If your situation does not regards to that then the knights of Pence, then the knights of cups excuse me it does refer to the challenge that you have to kind of like follow your dreams despite what the circumstances are okay so there are to be what the card says here is that there are to be quite a lot of diversions along the path here that you have to establish and you need to disregard or rather ignore those diversions but for those which are in a brand new kind of like interaction that you have just established or you are about to establish throughout the week um then the knight of, uh, of cups speaks for a daydreamer what i mean it is a, a person who talks big and who talks loud i know that he does not mean what he's saying it is just he has no clue how to accomplish what he's saying so that is for example someone who is going to promise you the world without the clue how to bring it down to how to bring it down to your needs okay promises you a sweet relationship without even knowing how to accomplish it now once again that is a person with pure intentions but it may not have what it takes yet that is to accomplish those intentions so the challenge for you is to not to believe to sweet talks and to allow people to enthrall you with empty um arguments if you will but instead be grounded and just take the things one at uh one at the time and one at the hand um, um unless you don't want to be uh disappointed here moving next uh it will be the gifts and the blessings and that is uh, tightly related to the energies uh, that will be the uh, magician so whatever cooperation and whatever interaction you are to have throughout the week you are to be gift gifted and blessed with the understanding of the differences in other words the gift and the blessing is that you are to be accepted and taken as exactly who you are without any intention whatsoever to be changed you know i read recently a meme uh, in uh, facebook about um, the royal family in uh, in england what i mean is that you know the new couple there and it says that he is a prince and she still wants to change him you know so you're not gonna have that thing here it's just a meme it doesn't have to be true but my point here with those cards uh, with that card it is that uh, the interaction and the cooperation and especially if that's about a relationship it will be beautiful because the person will have no, will see no need and will see no reason for you to be changed because they will like you for who you are they're going to respect your privacy they're going to respect your uh, respect your sovereignty as well and the best thing about the magician is that there will be a harmonious flow into the community communications in between you and that person itself so you are to be blessed with harmony and that is just the initial step though okay so the magician does not grant imminent success but it does it does grant the flawless foundation from which one can step on and eventually accomplish the uh, the success they are after either business one or either a uh, relationship one uh, moving next here it will be uh, how people are gonna uh, look at you what kind of impression you're leaving into the people with the six of ones it is that you got what you deserve 
in the good way, okay? Let's say you have been deprived from having love into your life, people were happy for you that you have finally found it, or you are at least on the right track of founding it, you know, you won't be as successful as you can be into your career, but now you're on the right track once again to uh, to be as successful. So people are to be very happy of your achievements here with uh, the Six of Wands and as well, However, with that card, some of them will expect from you to share your good fortune with them and to kind of like to have benefits, uh, uh, collateral benefits from your own main benefits from this cooperation that is awaiting you here throughout this week, either business one once again or either relationship one. But uh, in generally, the six of one says in that particular narrative exactly that, that finally, you know, you have been rewarded for your toils up until this moment or for your suffering because once again you could have been uh you could have went through a really tough breakup back in the days uh, you have closed yourself because you didn't want to go through that again and finally you have suffered through it now you're going out having fun with people having fun with friends finally you are dating once again throughout this week and people were happy that you are opening once again you know and they are expecting that you are going to be happy in it and that you are having your peak of experience uh, throughout the week itself which is exactly what the six of wands uh, is uh, pointing now one more thing when we're talking about impressions and relationships as well that at some very very rare occasions the six of wands may kind of make you look horny right but it's once again for a very rare occasions um, because the six of wands as peak of experience sex kind of like falls into that peak of experience and uh, if that's the case, you just need to kind of like lean to the blessing of the uh, magician about a personal sovereignty and being accepted as exactly who you are. And uh, the last one here, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering and the devil just only points that is your week to shine. So go out and shine, you know, give a uh, room, field and an expression to your ideas. You want love? Well, like I said, go out and catch it. It is in the air, guys, for you. Simply the uh, devil here points that that week you are you have the, I don't know how to say it, maybe the power to create your own circumstances, to forge your own faith, and you can make it as good as you want it to be. So in reality, that reading here says that that week you can make what you want to what you want to make the way you want to make it. And I'm sorry to say that, guys, but shame on you if you don't take advantage of it and if you don't take a, a grip over that beautiful uh, energies and circumstances that are to befell upon you. So that being said, that was your weekly general tarot reading, Libra. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. It was a beautiful one. I can say it's, it really puts a smile on my face looking at those cards because I rarely have such a, uh, a strong positive narrative into my cards lately. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can decide what kind of a um, reading suits you best. And uh, depending on the service you have chosen uh, upon purchase within 24 hours, I'm going to contact you with the details how your reading is going to take place. And uh, finally, hopefully I'm going to see you around. And until then, bye.